they did not seem like a druggy band. Maybe they changed a lot over time. Harmony! So today we are going to check out the Beach Boys for the very first time. I've heard of the Beach Boys. What a great name! Beach Boys. I don't know if they're actually beachy or if this is an ironic name for the band. Band? Maybe they're just singers, I don't know. But we're gonna check out a song called Surfing USA today. I think this might be, a lot of times I know the hook of a song, like I'll know how to sing the title, but I don't know the song. So is this the one that's like, Surfing USA, Surfing USA. I'm so sorry. My apologies. We're about to find out. Today's video is brought to you by Aura. Right now, your data is your most valuable asset, and it's important you protect your information from your home address to your personal records. And that is exactly what Aura does. Your details are accessible because of data brokers who profit by selling that information to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers, and anyone else who wants to learn more about you. Aura will identify data brokers that are exposing your information and automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. They'll even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists, which are so tedious to wade through. Aura also monitors your emails and passwords to see if there's been any data breaches or if your information has been leaked on the dark web. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitoring, internet parental controls and protects your devices from malware. So let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. You can use my QR code or visit the address aura.com slash Diane Jennings. I'll leave the link below. By doing so, you can start your free two-week trial. Thank you Aura for supporting this channel. On with the video. Don't forget to stick with me after I watch the song where I will check out more stuff and things about the band. If they're a band. Beach Boys, Surfing USA, HD. Are they even boys at all? I don't know. Do you want to sit up with mommy?
Is that just the most wholesome thing you've ever seen in your life? First off, their voices and the harmonies were insanely good. Amazing. But oh my gosh, I guess that was like one of the first boy bands. And there was a large discrepancy between the ages, no? I gotta find out the Beach Boys ages at the time. Oh wait, are they brothers? The Beach Boys, an American rock band. Are they a rock band? Formed in Hawthorne, California in 1961, the group's original lineup. Oh, so they had different lineups. Consisted of brothers Brian, Dennis, and Carl Wilson, their cousin Mike, and friend Al Jardine. Wow. Oh, they were brothers. That makes a lot more sense and why there is like a disparity between the age range. The Beach Boys only got mildly boundary pushing when heavier drug influences began to invade their work. Those guys, really? They sang about drug use directly and following Brian Wilson's break from the band in the late 1960s, Mike Love almost immediately turned the Beach Boys into a nostalgic, family-friendly touring act. Well, yeah, they did not seem like a druggy band. Maybe they changed a lot over time, but that's really surprising. Okay, so more about Brian Wilson. He long suffered from mental illness and experienced a nervous breakdown in 1964, resigned from touring, but stuck with the band to mastermind their greatest work, including Pet Sounds and the Good Vibrations single. There was a song called Good Vibrations. Oh wait, no. We talk about good vibrations. That's them. I'm talking about good vibrations. Again, I just know the hook. It's so funny they all dress the same. Ooh, teenage Mike got his girlfriend pregnant. Apparently there was a lot of groupy action too that was swept under the rug. Ooh. Well, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not gonna read any more about the scandals. I just think they were super cute in that song anyway. Very different from the boy bands we know of today though, right? 